Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War. It's episode 33 currently, and I have a couple of squads on patrol, although they are sort of mixed at this point. Over here we have the Blind Commando. They're currently attacking an HQ, and the HQ is going to take a long time to infiltrate. There's still 13 days until it's at 100%. I might need to boost that though, just to speed things along a little bit. Because Advent does keep pouring in more units onto this sector, and that makes this mission all the more difficult. I also have the Dirty Dozen here under command of Sape. They are ambushing an enemy troop column. If they fail this mission, then the strength goes up to 6, and the mission once again becomes more difficult. And over here I have the Cat Pyro Squad. Uh, these guys don't have too much time to infiltrate, so I might have to boost them as well. Commander, I believe we I have, have some no new crew supplies available. coming in. We'll need to seek out new uh, yeah, means of replenishing medic. our resources. Another field medic, a shinobi, a technical, a grenadier, a sharpshooter, uh, and a couple of sparks, a gunslinger, and a new psi operative. So yeah, we have quite a few people ready to go. Um, no recruits. Who do I want to send into the advanced warfare center, and what do they want them to do? Let's see. What are your abilities? Shredder? No. This guy is mostly a support operative. So if I could give him an ability that actually helps out the squad by getting a free flashbang, that would be helpful. Over here, um, explosive grenades do one more damage. Not really. This could be handy in combination with a flashbang. But all the offensive weapon perks are basically useless because he simply doesn't use it. Okay, if I don't want to train up a medic, it's going to have to be Michelle, I guess. Let's see what we have for Michelle. Michelle is pretty damn accurate, but she's trained as an absolute stealth warrior. Ghost Walker, Shadow Step, Covert. She's not likely to get detected, and if she does, then something has gone wrong. So what I would need for her... Is that Kubikiri? Ooh, that would be tempting. Yep, Kubikiri. Crits automatically kill enemies at less than half hit points, or less than full hit points. Regular hits do half damage. If you can stack up a lot of damage and make sure you get a critical, then this is going to be fantastic, because this will immediately kill stuff. Especially high enemies, or high level enemies, are going to be far easier to kill. Um, that does mean that she's going to have to have, let's say, quick study first. And we're going to start teaching her some new tricks. Okay, um, I have intel on here. I have a recruit standing by here. I don't really have any squads available anyway, so the best thing I can do now is just try to build up the resistance. And make sure that I have enough intel to keep boosting my missions when I need to. I just keep scanning over here and we need you. Oh right, we have an uh, alien strong box. I will take an assault rifle. Smart tracker, lightweight frame, and a superior wildcat cartridge. Interesting combination. So if I get a critical, I get a plus 3 damage, but I get a damage reduction of 15%. Okay. Mm, not great. Here we go. Light. What sort of squad do I have here? Oh, pretty large. Ranger, Jaeger, Assault, Grenadier, Samurai, Technical, Spec Ops, Gunner. Oh. What I do not have is a sniper. Uh, fuck it, I think I can do this. Evening, Largazo and Etes, and welcome. The new guys in yet? Uh, yeah, Largazo, I just added them just before the stream. So, the guys that... Or, the guy... Guys, plural, I think. That you sent me through Discord, yes, they are in. Now, it is an urban area. That could ha be handy. It is generally easier to ambush an enemy squad with a... What I usually call direct action squad. Than it is with a bunch of snipers and a shinobi. If you have a bunch of snipers and a shinobi, you want long range. In a situation like this, then high cover is ideal. And there's a lot more of it. I'm going to reduce the volume a little because I am blasting myself away here. Alright. Start from concealment. Couple of high points of cover. Let's see, who do we have? We have Silver Raptor, that's my Overwatch guy. Uh, Rin. 
Are you a... Yeah, spec op? I think Rin is a newly trained spec op. Sape. That's the officer. Tunguska. Two flashbangs in the smoke. Uh, Keppard. With his new mag cannon. So he should be able to do a lot of damage. Slice. Maxim. Sea Cobra. Rockets and two flamethrowers. And finally, Alex. Alex is a bit undergunned with only a shotgun. But I think that he has enough critical bonuses to still make that thing very, very lethal. Oh, and he also has Esprit de Cora. Well, it gets a bit of willpower. If you get officers to go on missions with people multiple times, then they will spread along their leadership skill. Provide bonuses to will, dodge and infiltration. So it is valuable to have these guys stick together. Heading to that location. Okay, let's scout out a little. There's no timer. There's no reinforcements. Heading there now. So I'm not in any rush. Three snakes. That is three snakes, two with ten hit points and one with twelve. I'm trying to plan my engagements ahead to see how much firepower I would need in any specific situation. And also, where I would need to maneuver Alex. I'm going to keep Alex back a little bit until I know who is where and how many threats I'm dealing with. Same goes for Maxim. He's a great operative. Very good at slicing and uh, making sure an enemy dies in one go. Okay. Risk is that he triggers another squad. Advancing. All right, Overwatch, everybody. Eyes on the prize. Clear and cover. Eyes on the prize. And since samurai can't actually do that. The snakes have moved away. The big question is which way did they go? Headed there now. Not this way. That is actually pretty good news because that means a bit more high cover for me. Moving on target location. Sape this way. Nothing. The bridge here, the overspan is an ideal oh, I saw a hit point flash of that. Is an ideal way of uh, trying to get the drop on somebody. But the problem is, it is low cover. All of this. Sure, you're shooting down at something. But the same problem arises. You're shooting down, but you're only using low cover. So any bones that you get. It's not great. On the move. Check your colors, let's go! I'm there. Acknowledge. Nice night for a walk. All right, everybody hold. On Overwatch. Everybody hold. Still nothing. I'm still trying to find roaming patrols. Make way. Nothing. Now, Gepard is a little bit low willpower. He's been uh, sent no to the anything. hospital twice. And I kind of want to make sure that it doesn't happen a third time. So I'm going to have to make sure that he does not get hit. This is very tempting. That right there. I need my um, Rocketeer to come a little closer. Unfortunately, I cannot really find any great positions. Does he have flame out or smoke out? Burn out, yeah. Hmm. The range to there is too great. So we're going to have to relocate the squad. He does have fairly good accuracy with the rocket launcher. And this is just an accident waiting to happen. I just really hope that those guys stay where they are. If they don't, then this whole thing is not going to work. Uh, you're only packing an SMG... Slice, you're great to come in, but you're also very prone to triggering an additional squad. Silver Raptor. Um, I want you to stay here. Sape. Let's not take any too risky moves. 
and Alex. <clears throat> Here. Hold. Overwatch. 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 I'm creating a sort of L-shaped attack. So that the rocket launcher uh, fires first. That should cause a lot of mayhem inside that group. If they stay where they are. Oh, they don't. Well, there goes that plan. Um, Rin. Push a little further. No contact. See, ideally, I would just wait it out. I would just wait for these guys to come near another explosive device, like this car. This one already is fairly wrecked, so that won't work. But if they stand over here again, then it's going to be party time. Closing on target position now. So this does give me time to set up a better ambush position. Sape. Mm, I want her to get over there, but she Back cannot cover. do that one go. Alex, hold. Overwatch. Um, this is the only high cover that I have. This is another bit. But we're starting Let's to go. push the envelope over to the right a bit too far. I'm going to be careful not to immediately get jumped by another squad there. That would be a really shitty way to start the mission. Because if this... If there is a squad over here and it jumps me... Then all of this is going to go active. And okay. shit is about to hit the fan if that happens. Moving out. Understood. Moving out. Raptor, what you got? Nothing. Okay. Double move means a free Scaling. overwatch. Where's the squad going? Oh. No, they're not quite going where I need them to go. Interestingly, the snakes are also joining the party now. Hmm. This is tempting. Four to nine damage. Look at this. I think this is too good to pass up. If I fire it over here and it hits, I do four to nine damage, which means that most of these, if not all of these, are going to take a lot of damage. This thing will explode. Potentially further damaging the snake. But I want to see if I can get one better. Everybody, hold. Roger. I've got my eyes on. See, they're still coming closer. That's close enough. This would be ideal. Look at how close they are now. Now, if these snakes would want to make a move slightly further this way... No, okay, so the snakes could be a problem. Still, if you blow open a gas tank, it does 5 to 9 damage. Throw a rocket on top of that, and you got 5 kills waiting to happen. Yeah, this is happening. There is a chance that they will flank Sea Cobra, but if I bring Sape closer, then she can give him a command and he can move away. Now, I am tempted to go for overwatches, but I think I'm not going to do it. Because all of these guys could be more handy if they don't have overwatch yet. So I can still respond to how the situation develops. Party time! The game is probably going to have to think about this for a second. That was three kills, a lot of damage, and a couple of active targets, of course. Especially these snakes, I think, are a problem. For now, they're backing off. But something else that snakes are very good at is ruining the party by dragging you over to them. And that's when the game says, ah, you spotted a new squad. Yeah. Okay. Who can we flank? Start with that. Silver Raptor. How is this not a flank? Ah, okay. I need to be over here. Do it. Seems doable. 
Tempting. Um, I'm gonna go for kills first. I need less guns firing back at me. One less. Impressed yet? Seven targets active. Let's see if we can reduce that any further. Sape. Who can you give a command to? Currently you can only see Ulf. Okay. I really need you to be able to get line of sight on Silver Raptor. Moving to position. Now this is fairly risky for her. Or sorry, Silver Raptor. This is Silver Raptor Sea Cobra. There is also a perfect opportunity for Tosox to strike because she can hit this guy from over here and not give her position away. Because usually the problem is, if you don't have Implacable yet and you cannot run, you're finding yourself in a position where either you have to have the last kill, or you're going to get detected. There are very few options that you have. This is perfect. Check it before you get too close. There's something here. Lots of lockboxes. Detection chance, 10%. I can live with that. Now... Can you... No, you. You can run up to somebody and slice them. 91%. 91 and 76. These sergeants are fairly mobile guys. Let's take the officer out. Oh, shit. I don't like this. This means I spotted something else. I think. Unless it's the snakes. At least he has implacable so he can run away. Shit. I was really not hoping to spot an additional squad, but here we are. Okay, we need a fallback position, and I think this is the best that I have at the moment. So, eight targets active. It's time for some crowd control. We're going to send out the flashbangs. We can have three guys. Yeah, we can have three guys flashed over here. And do you have blue screen? You do. I just need to know what is out here. And where exactly I need to send that flashbang. I need you to fall back. This is high cover, so that works. Gepard. I want you to suppress the sergeant. He will definitely try to move, because Silver Raptor has him flanked, so he has no choice. And the AI usually goes mental when they're being flanked. Alex over there, so he can break overwatches. Ah, there we go, line of sight restored. Now it's time to start popping some flashbangs. So we're gonna hit... I think it was over here, these three guys. That's three of them. Now I still have a flashbang left, and I can send that over here. So now out of the six targets, sorry, eight targets which are active, I have one suppressed and five flashbanged. And a flashbang shreds armor for some reason or another. Let's not look into that. And now it's their turn. Okay, so we really only have two active threatening targets. And that's one of them. And of course it hits. Because that's just how the AI does business. Alright. He goes for a war... No, he goes for a war cry. There's no one behind him. That looked like a miss to me. Yeah. Oh, apparently you can run overwatches. Without penalty. Yeah, Sapes hit. It's not the first time that happens. Uh oh. Ooh. Always when the game zooms in like this, I get a bad feeling about that shot. Here's the other one. <sighs> that looked like it hit.
Yeah, we need to talk about the whole disorientation thing because this drone came in very, very quickly. Alright. Um, this is going to be a little risky, but I can get away with risky if I take out a lot of targets. How do you like this? <laughs> this is such a handy damage boost. Dual barrel. Because in one shot, you can immediately wipe out a target. Okay. Um, time for further crowd control. Run and gun. He's going to be standing over there. And he's going to be ready either to shit, stun, or engage a target. This is a 22, but stunning is a 67 on the Guardian. Okay. See, Cobra. See, the flamethrower would be a perfect option, but it's hard to execute because I need to get close. And there is an overwatch. Uh, you can run overwatches. And you can dash out to a target and kill it. But if I kill this one, falling back is hard. This one is definitely possible. Because I'm probably fall back to here. Or... Hmm. How likely are you to kill that? Four to seven. Try it. Yep. Well done. Well done. Okay. One last. Six active targets. If only there was more high cover. Hmm. She can take out another target in one turn. Moving to designated position. Just make sure you get to a position where you don't get in the way of anybody. Um, I'm going to have to tell you to take somebody out, but the problem is the return. So his mobility is very good. But where do I fall back to, and including that turret? If I were to kill him and fall back to here, I would get shot at. Potentially by the snake, by this guy. Um, I don't think I can make it all the way to here. Throwing a knife is not an option because it doesn't do shit. Can you see that far? No, you can't. I understand. Let me go for an area suppression. Reload first. Uh, area suppress. I want you to take out the Guardian. Just stun him. Crowd control. Make sure they have fewer guns firing back. He's stunned. Okay. Now I have seen what happens if you send Samurai after mutons. It does not end well. For the samurai, that is. Um, hunker down. I don't actually need you to do anything. On your order. Sip, I need you to get healed up. Right. Officer has to survive. Okay, the flashbang has been deactivated. Now it's going to... Oh, that's a Rocketeer, isn't it? Miss. Under fire. So he is trying to make a flanking maneuver. He's going for a suppression on the Samurai. Which actually doesn't do anything because he can still... That was to be expected. He can still outrun that. No, uh, armor took it. He's trying to take a shot. Not actually working. These guys get a fair aim penalty. This thing doesn't, though. <sighs> Ooh, I don't like those shots. Okay, my turn. I need high cover. 
wherever I can find it. This would qualify. Let's try and take out, or at least do damage to one of the snakes. Raptor gets a hit. What sort of damage does that go with? Six, that's not bad. Uh, this is also high cover. But I'm not sure how well that qualifies as cover against the turret. On the move. He still has a bit of armor on him, so let's hope that that's going to be enough. Take out a gun if you can. No, you missed! Alex, dude, this is not what I need. Not good. Um, who else can I send? You can take one out. But it has to be a kill, and it has to be remote. A kill cannot be too close, or you're going to get detected. Hmm. Yana, over here. Running. Tempting. Again, the question is, where do I fall back to? I think this position could work. Go. Here comes the overwatch. But he has lightning reflexes, so he doesn't care. Gotcha. And we're going to fall back into this little alcove here. Now with that, that guy out of the way, I might be able to take out this snake. And not get Rin detected. Oh, yes. This is progress. Ooh, look at that. Good loot. I think this is the package. My problem is, though, that this guy will wake up. And when he does, he's going to be fairly pissed. He will run. And I think that he's going to fall back here. Instead of pushing out that way. If he does go that way, we just have one more turn to kill him. Before everything goes sour. Now, this guy is a different story. I need a good way to take him out. And he has the potential of dealing a lot of damage. Um, this can panic enemy troops. Operative being can, not does. All right, everyone, chill. Keeps pressing. Let's see what their aim actually oh, is at this point. 65. Oh, wow. That suppression does not seem to do a lot of damage. How much damage or how much suppression damage does that actually do? Um, penalize targets, aim and shoot them if they move. I just don't think it's going to work too well against snakes because snakes generally have lightning reflexes. Oh, where do I move you? If I move him here and this guy moves up here, I get shot on the flank. So I'm going to have to move you all the way back here. And make sure I don't get that muton on my side. Tunguska. This is a bit risky. Uh, do these guys need help? No, I don't think they do. Hold. He's going to have to run an overwatch or a suppression fire from Etta's. Oh, the snake tries it. What are your plans? Poison spit. Okay. He falls back. Oh, and goes on overwatch. Interesting. Can you get him? No? Oh, I left him on one hit point. Jeez, Alex. This is not going well, buddy. Especially considering that we also still have a turret up there. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
If that turret goes to town on this guy, like it does, he's dead. Oh! Combination of attacks. And that ended Alex. Shit. Three attacks. One, including a. Uh, this was a poison spit. This guy tried to. No, sorry. They. This one over here bound him in. And the turret took him out. I gotta hand it to the AI. It was a good combination of attacks. Like it or not, that was a well executed strike. But Alex was definitely a good operative. Maybe I pushed him forward a little bit too much, though. Okay. Uh, this guy didn't actually respond to the attack. That is interesting. Oh, and you can actually make it out? Nice. Get out of the danger zone there. Alex, no, uh, Silver Raptor. Take this one out. Thank you. Well, how about that? I found something here. That's a standard Ready reload. Tunguska. That turret is in such a nasty position. Overwatch. With that muton still active, I have to really be careful where I go. Because if I decide to push in too aggressively and he spots me and fires at me, I am likely to lose hit points. Suppress so that guardian, the guy that has one hit point. Uh, where do we fall back to? Preferably somewhere the turret can't hit you. Um, here? Here. It's not a great position, but if he moves, he might get hit by Atez. Overwatch. Sape. Hmm, here. Location confirmed. Okay, dude. To say that your flanks would be an understatement. Oh, he's pushing. What the fuck? Right through the damn truck? Cool. Okay, and of course that panics Atez because he does not have a lot of willpower left anyway. That means that this guy can move. What the fuck? Another high cover shot. Oh dear, this just went to shit. I have three turns. Either I evac everybody, or I take out this guy and that guy. Those are the two options I have now if I want to succeed with this mission. There are no further options. So, let's start with one. And that is, by the way, that is operating under the, under the idea that the target, or that the mission actually has 14 targets in it and no more. If there are, in fact, more, then this mission might still continue. And that might mean that the guys are not quite done. Um, the amount of active shooters that I have suddenly got reduced. This is potentially a good shot, because it is a side shot. I'm going to have to take risks. I don't particularly like it, but I'm going to have to take risks. 54%. And he misses. No. That was indeed a little sloppy. 
Um, how much armor does that thing have? Three points of armor and ten hit points. You have enough ammo. Focus fire. We gotta take up that turret. Focus fire means that we get increasing armor piercing bonuses and hit bonuses the more we hit the thing. And with a good shooter like Raptor over here, we could take it out in one go. That didn't kill it? Oh, it has one hit point. Please take that thing out. Thank you. That takes another side of my flank. I am not going to have her attack. The risk is not worth the reward. Because the risk is way too high. And sure, she might get lucky and not get parried. But if she does, then she's immediately dead. Because she doesn't have the armor nor the hit points to sustain a hit like that. Watch. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. This is going well. Um, about that risk-reward analysis. I think all the logic just went straight out the window. Where's that damn muton? Where are you, buddy? I oh, was sitting over there. Now, Sape's never going to get there. The interesting bit is that Geppert might. I just don't really trust Geppert with a gun anymore because he keeps panicking. I basically have one turn to kill this guy. Because otherwise this guy's gone. Go. See, Cobra, I also need you to run over there as quickly as you can, because at the moment, you are my best bet. Oh. This is one nifty civilian, look at that. <laughs> Athleticism right there. Uh, hold. Sape. Just sit back and don't do much. Now watch as this mutant proceeds to kill my samurai. Deflection. I was joking, game. What the shit? He's unconscious. This game does not know sarcasm when it it's sees it. 19% chance to hit. 19... What sort of defense do you have, dude? Low cover, 30% chance. Goodbye. So he's not dead. He's just not feeling very well, is <laughs> one way to put it. Uh, one turn, two turns. And he can just sit there in his little bus stop and not really have to worry about much. See, these are good operatives. Oh, do I risk it or do I not risk it? Does anybody have a flashbang by any chance? No. All right, everyone. Chill. Suppress the fucker. Make sure that if he does try to or counter fire, he doesn't actually get a good shot off. Uh, never mind. It's only a thirty-two percent chance. I'm never going to get that. Look at this guy with a dodge of sixty-three percent. Come again. Thirteen. In a charge war cry. I don't know. How the hell do you have only 32% chance 
Why do you have such a high dodge? Because this is not that dodge chance. This is 13, not 63. I don't know what's going on. So now I'm going to have to be picking away at him with an SMG of all things. That's going to take ages to kill him. Say, just crawl over there slowly. I'm going to lose operatives a lot. Yeah, the Warcry buff might do it. Well, so much for Sea Cobra. Okay. 19%. Yeah, that buff that he has might be it. Warcry. Unfortunately, she's now also no longer in concealment. Is there any place from where you can get a flanking shot and have high cover? Yeah, this. But he's going to run up to her and say hi in a very personal way. Problem is, this guy can just wait me out. So much for Tunguska, he's going to be dead as well. It's a good thing I started building all those sparks because I'm going to you need them. Behind and you're on your own. Yeah, about that. Moving to Overwatch. Um, good to go. Express. I need this mission to succeed Overwatch. because I cannot have that HQ get another tech level or another strength level. Missed. Not good. That's a mm. scratch. Just a scratch, yeah, if you told him. There goes Tunguska. Tunguska was killed. And this unconsciousness never ends. It just sits there, and sits there, and sits there. It's not like he's going to wake up from it. Unless I give him a medkit. And it's not like I really have any medkits handy. What I'm trying to do with Sape is get her close enough to actually have a chance of getting that um, protocol off. That makes him easier to hit. Focus fire. Now let's put some pressure on this guy by having him flanked with a whole SMG. One point of damage. But he is... He doesn't really know where to go. Atez hits. Silver Fa or Silver Raptor kills him. Okay. You know that was good. It's over. Oh, this was a painful mission. Ugh. The mission was completed. The objective was accomplished. But fuck, that was pricey. Huh. <laughs> was two sergeants. Okay, tell me the bad news. Look at that, nine missions. He went on a lot. Same as Alex, or same as uh, Tunguska and Sea Cobra. Seven missions, 16 kills. Samurai is fortunately only wounded for nine days. I thought that would have been a hell of a lot worse. <laughs> well, at least that does gets a promotion. That's nice. Fuck me. She was also quite handy in taking out targets uh, which were isolated. Oh. <laughs> 
This is one badass. Will restored and increased. Holy shit, did you see what happened to your squad? How do you get willpower from that? Jesus, okay. <laughs> yeah, and she gets reduced will. suppose that makes sense. Alright, I think that's enough butchery for one episode. Um, in the next episode, I'm going to try and get the squad back up to strength by just building more sparks. Sparks at the moment seem to be turning into my, um, well, my mainstay, my forces. It's not like they're infallible either. But they can easily make up losses, at least for the moment. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and um, I shall see you soon for more episodes.